Indian court versus atheist republic. So guys, I told you that when we have legal updates that we can give you, I'm going to come with you with legal updates regarding our situation in, well, multiple areas of the Indian court system. So this is the latest. Um, if you guys will remember, there was a petition in the Delhi High Court to um, mandate that Twitter remove some of our tweets and we can, you know, be refreshed, do a refresh of what those tweets are if we want. But so this is what this case is about. On November 30th, Atheist Republic's legal counsel in India attended a hearing in the Delhi High Court in which the prosecuting lawyers sought to have the Indian government move to order Twitter to remove several of Atheist Republic's tweets that were deemed objectionable. At that time, Twitter's legal representation asked the court to give them a week to file an affidavit in compliance with the High Court's order to remove the specified tweets. This means that Twitter is moving to demonstrate to the court that they have complied with their orders. Um, after the requested days off, um, the matter was due to be heard again on December 9th, but the bench was not sitting and the next hearing has been moved to February 2022. So when that happens, we will give you updates at that time. The lawyers who originally brought forth the petition have also engaged senior counsel so that at the next hearing, this will allow us for to gain a better understanding of what they are arguing and if they will seek the full suspension of our Twitter account. Atheist Republic's legal counsel is poised to intervene against coercive at orders at the next hearing. Um, <laughs> Rudra is saying Indian bureaucracy can confuse you, especially if you're sitting on the outside. Oh, well, so you don't have to tell me about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. By the way, thank so, you. I want to thank our lawyers for make, trying to make sense of this for us. They have been very helpful. So thank you for that. If they're yes, watching, they are amazing. I don't think, yeah. Um, so I wanted to, well, one, I promised you guys that I would talk about what's going on with us when we're able to, and these are all public court proceedings. So we're completely able to talk about these things. Um, and I also wanted to talk about it because, um, you know, Twitter has shown that they are willing to actually move forward and comply with this, the, these court orders, which I actually found kind of shocking because, um, I think it's really interesting that they would move to have this removed altogether, as opposed to just saying like, we are, we'll block these from the Indian market, right? That like, that's what Facebook did. They just blocked it um, to their um, Indian users in India, right? They didn't remove our page entirely, for example. Um, and um, so the what Twitter said at the last hearing was basically, okay, like we want a few days, we'll bring you an affidavit. And when that affidavit, it's like written evidence that they planned to comply with the court's orders and um, give a timeline for when they're actually going to execute the order, right? So the tweets that they have an issue with are still, last time I checked, they're still up, they're still visible to everyone. Well, I mean, here in America. Um, so at the next hearing, that's when they'll actually bring forward their affidavit showing basically their roadmap of what they plan to do, how how they plan to comply. And um, our our lawyers are prepared to intervene against this coercion. This coercion. Um, but I also... Oh, interesting. Wait, Katie is saying the gay marriage hearing was also supposed to happen the same day at the same court. Move to February because new cases in the file again for gay marriage and it will be live streamed. Wait, I, with this, are they going to? Are they saying that they're going to proceed with removing some tweets or the entire account? Well, so this is what we're going to learn more about at the next hearing because Twitter has retained senior counsel. So that's when we are going to get more information about how they plan to proceed. And if it well, no, I'm sorry, the, the prosecution that, that that's when they are, they've retained the senior counsel, excuse me. And that's when we'll be able to get more information if, about if they plan to fight for and argue how, how they are going to argue and if they're going to fight for a full suspension. I can't believe we have like one of the largest companies in the world 
arguing with one of the most political parties in the world over our Twitter, our tweets. Well, I'm, which happened. We yeah. have to be precise, Armin. None of these people, to our knowledge, are representative of the BJP. Okay. So you can't say I it's mean, the party. It's not the party. It what might are they be then? People who shared the, their agenda, likely. I, I didn't say like it's like Modi himself, like like talking like. <laughs> Look, looking at our tweets and talking with this no, guy. I just want to be like, I didn't, say, like, I didn't, you know, I didn't yeah, precise. of course, it's going to be people on their side and people on their side. I'm not saying Modi and the CEO um, of Twitter are directly talking about Atheist Republic, okay? That's not what I'm saying, right? But still, you have a government in India that apparently wants to get Twitter, like they're having it, they're spending legal, they're spending legal resources, both sides, to talk about our tweets that happen to be problematic because they're drawings of Hindu goddesses, right? Like, is this like what the world is coming? Like, we have like, and I, I just, I just think it's, is this like an Onion like news article? This is a joke. Like, we're talking about goddesses, and apparently that we're not talking about real people, okay? And What's we're so talking about. Yeah, we're talking. No, we're talking about drawings of goddesses, and somehow legal resources have been. Is this taxpayer money that is being spent on this? Well, presumably because it's in the public court now. I don't. Think yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, we have we have Indians being their tax money is being used by this government to argue with Twitter over drawings of Hindu goddesses. Like, are you serious? Is this a joke? Because the high court country? agreed that it was objectionable and should be removed. The fact that the high court of India is discussing our tweets of drawings of goddesses, it the, should the Delhi high be court. a joke. Like, if you are in India, yeah, well, the, the Supreme Court also brought, uh, had our uh, tweets presented to them as well. It was, it was the Delhi high, you know, high court, but also the Supreme Court of India had our tweets presented to them, okay? But, like, honestly, if you are an Indian, you should be more offended that your government is involved in this than the Hindu goddess is being drawn. Like, I would be triggered if I was an Indian. I would be like, what the hell are you doing? We have other problems here. Like, what is this? Like, why? Why? This is an embarrassment. This not only does not bring benefits to India, this is an embarrassment. This is making us look ridiculous. We're becoming a laughing stock. People will point at us and laugh, okay? Justifiably so. But you're yeah, going, you were saying something? Well, it's funny because the tweets that they want removed, um, one of them was a, a tweet announcing the speech that I was going to give about the Blasphemous Art Project, where it shows Kali and Sita what? making out with each other. And then the other one is a um, photo of an elderly couple meeting with a priest, a Hindu priest, and saying, your ignorance and stupidity are my sources of income. That's Wait, what's, what's so objectionable, problem? saying like, hey, like literally priests rely on you to be fed. Like that's literally But that's what they said. That's what's on the news. Oh my god. Unbelievable. But it's amazing because guys, the the first one, the first tweet that you mentioned, it wasn't just like it wasn't even like the the tweet was not about the drawing of the Hindu goddesses. It was about a speech that happened to have in the small corner section of the tweet. It was like one of the drawings shown. Like one of the other tweets that these they have they seem to be having an issue with was a picture of all of our t-shirts. Most of them had nothing to do with Hinduism. One of the t-shirts has a picture of a Hindu goddess on it, which makes the Hindu goddess picture on the shirt such a small part of the entire picture. But that one t-shirt having a Hindu goddess on it was enough for them to want it to go entirely nuclear on this one on this picture like it's just a small part of the entire pic but like to be clear i think those were different people but it's the same yeah. attitude <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah. i'm not saying that these are all like no the people the, I, these are complete like they're all like we are we're already talking about the police we could talk about people filing fir reports against us to the police we're talking about individual lawyers making their making it their mission to come after us we're talking about the government we're talking about twitter like we're talking about the supreme court or the delhi high court like there's so many different independent 
which makes it more ridiculous. Like this is such a butt hurt. Like these drawings have caused so much butt hurt that it's not just one entity in India that is rising against us. It's just multiple private and governmental entities all making this their mission to just remove us from India. By the way, we're not going anywhere. Okay, like I don't know what you guys think we're going. Like you think like they remove our Facebook from India? Like they try, they they constantly going after our Twitter with like either using mass reporting or these legal ways they are going directly to Twitter themselves uh, themselves, but they're like, they're going to try to get us to, uh, removed from India on Twitter, um, YouTube everywhere. But like, we're just going to double down. Like we're, this is not like a one year, two year process for us. Okay. You guys have made it our mission to make sure that we have a large presence in India. And in fact, you have made it so that Hinduism becomes a major target for us. Okay. And this is like, we're talking 20, 30, 40 years down the road, like Asus Republic is going to make India a high priority based on your behavior. It seems like we you need some atheist republic yeah. in India, okay? Um, um, and that's why, that's why we need your help, okay? Because they're coming after us with all these legal stuff, okay? So you guys need to, we, de go, defending ourselves against all of these attacks costs us, really, here's a good thing, relatively less than legal costs in other countries, right? Because, um, Indian lawyers is relatively like more affordable compared to other places, right? So the like, look at this. Like so far, people have donated nineteen hundred dollars to our fundraising for defending ourselves against Andutva, and honestly, nineteen hundred would have done anything for us if we were doing legal battles. I don't know somewhere in Europe in North America. Like we, this wouldn't. This nineteen hundred would have get us like two sessions of I don't know consultation or something. I'm exaggerating, but so far in India, it has gotten us a lot of return on our investment. Like our lawyers have done a lot with us, but we need more. But go on, what do you want to say? Yeah, something? no, that's what I was gonna say. So I recently um I managed the fundraiser, and I recently increased our fundraising goal to cover the expenses of these hearings that our lawyers have attended and our upcoming hearings that they're going to attend because this is an ongoing issue. Um, so if you guys, you know, have the financial ability, we don't want to encourage people to do this if they can't afford to, but, um, I, you know, it would mean a lot to us and a lot of people in our community, especially our community in India, if you would consider donating, um, you know, if you feel like you've gained something in your life because of our community or what we bring to you, maybe entertainment, um, you know, it would, now's a moment where it would really help us out if, um, you could help, you know, contribute to this as well. Um, so please consider donating to our GoFundMe for our legal expenses. Um, link is in the live chat. Link is also in the description. If you look below, it says help us defend against Indutfa and you can find it very easily. And um, the support that we've received thus far is amazing and so meaningful. So I really, I, I really do appreciate everything that our community has done for us. Like the responsiveness is so incredible to me. I heard every dollar donation makes one BGP tier. Shit. Every single dollar. Okay? <laughs> so if you want to see BGP tiers, donate to us. Link in the description. Okay. If you want to get them triggered and butt hurt. Because honestly, like this has this has saved us. So thank you to uh, like even if you like the look at this anonymous person. $86. Wow. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it was so cool. As donate... soon as I increased it, they donated enough to make it an even 1900 Thank you. Wow. That's very like, sweet. Ow. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, guys, if you can't donate, don't feel pressure to donate, but share, maybe share the fundraiser. Okay. That would really help. Or share this video. Okay. Uh, so more people will see it. Okay. So, or like this video so that we get more exposure to this. Okay. So that's how you could help if you can't donate. But if you can't donate even a dollar, that would really help us. Again, a, a dollar goes a much longer way in India than other places. So this, you you might think like a dollar doesn't make that much of a difference, but that's, that's what's, you know, it's saving us. It's helping us stay alive. Okay. We do, the legal expenses are catching up. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, oh, wait, one thing I wanted to highlight. 
Um, I don't think Twitter CEO being uh, from India has any impact on this. Like I, you guys, like in Twitter CEO is not involved in such uh, s smaller things, right? Like, I, and so. Th well, that also this started way before he became way before. CEO. Way before. Yeah, yeah. You you guys are overestimating the level of involvement the CEO has in day to day operations. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.